Hey everyone, I'm Basanto from Smart Guide. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, one of the quick uh, and simple uh, tips for uh, the Google Home user. Uh, if you have Google Home speaker on your um, home, um, if you have multiple speaker or even a single speaker on your home, uh, you can use that to um, make a call. Uh, whether it's national uh, within national domestic call or international calls uh, for that you need to have a um, few settings before you start the call so that's what i'm gonna show you today uh, first of all let me um, go to my uh, uh, iphone um, the app i'm trying to see is a google home app uh, from you can find that on iphone uh, apple store or the android google play uh, you can also find that on the samsung store uh, if you are on android you can download from google play it doesn't you don't ne even need to go to the samsung store and once you download the google home app uh, from there you will uh, have um, access to every setting for the assistant uh, I'm navigating to the Google Home app on my iPhone. Uh, the layout on the iPhone, layout on the Android is same. So if uh, if I go and show you on the uh, um, iPhone, you should be able to do the same on the Android. Um, for this setting, the phone, mobile phone, mobile calling setting, you need to navigate back to the setting first, the assistant setting. Uh, you can access that from the main screen over here uh, the, with the gear icon over here. Uh, if you see this one and uh, scroll down all the way down until you see the Google Assistant services. Um, there are a couple of things listed shopping list voice match music uh, radio tv and video uh, more uh, setting and the one that we need is voice and video call so it um, voice and video call then you'll have two options um, one mobile calling another voice and video apps so first we need to go to the mobile calling and from there uh, if you haven't set up earlier uh, you won't have any of these numbers and you will have only option to um, link uh, the service option single and then more services a google fire uh, and uh, contact uploading option uh, this contact uploading is really helpful if you want to sync your um, phone contact on your phone to your google account so that you can access it from the uh, speaker that's helpful when you turn on uh, for example if you add uh, some contacts recently and if you turn that off you it may not be available on the google account but it may be only on your phone but if you turn on the uploading it will stay on your uh, google account uh, as soon as um, you upload on your um, you um, save on your phone so that's why um, where the contact uploading comes into picture and this connection part for this you can do uh, in many way you can use google fi if you are a google fi subscriber google fi is a um, carrier prepared carrier service in united states um, provided by google of course and it utilizes t-mobile network earlier it was utilizing t-mobile and sprint up to this point uh, it's utilizing both but going forward t-mobile and sprint merge so there is only one new t-mobile uh, so it will utilize new t-mobile uh, spectrum and then um, um, this uh, provide the subscription a little cheaper than the major brand but it's still uh, it depends on whether you are subscriber or not so if you are if you are subscriber you can link it directly as a google fi uh, if you are not Google Fi subscriber, you can still link the other phone um, from AT&T, T-Mobile, anything. You can use use uh, your own number, and you can also use your Google Voice number. Uh, like here, I use my Google Voice number. Uh, just provide the Google uh, Voice account. And one note on that: if you don't have Google Voice account please feel free to watch my previous video on how to get a Google Voice number for free for lifetime. Um, 
it's pretty quick and easy and you don't have to pay anything for that not a not even a penny you just need to um, maintain that number uh, by texting or calling every 90 days that's pretty easy otherwise uh, google will uh, roll back the number and then assign it to somebody else so uh, you need to keep that up to date otherwise uh, it will go away and once you create and link up you can make a call from your google voice or call from your mobile number also you can do it either way in either of these three options and with that said uh, one more thing uh, once you uh, um, link up everything uh, you need to make sure which speaker you want to enable the calling for uh, for that you can see it from video and voice apps uh, once you hit video and voice app you'll have option to uh, choose which speaker you want to enable uh, for example if you're living in shared house and uh, some of the bedroom you consume and some of the bedroom consumed by someone else and uh, you may have multiple device on uh, living room and bedroom in that case you may not want to turn that feature on the living room because they uh, if someone else end up using your phone that's not good so uh, you can only enable that for your bedroom display that you can do it from here by default none of the displays are none of the speaker are enabled so you have to specify which speaker you want to enable the calling uh, in this scenario i'm doing uh, my bedroom display that's my uh, small nest hub uh, google display uh, google home display and it's a speaker of course and with that uh, i can make a call and again as i said before i can make international call or i can make the domestic call and for international call you need to have balance on your account uh, google voice account um, or if you use the um, uh, carrier number it you it will use carrier uh, and carrier may charge you so do not use carrier that's my recommendation always use google voice if you don't have it just create one it's free of uh, charge and uh, if you want to make international call just for the international call you need to pay for the um, call so for that you need to have balance on your google voice uh, how do you see balance uh, you can see the balance from google Vo voice app on uh, iphone or android it doesn't matter um, it's the same layout uh, go to the voice app and then um, setting there you can see credit and i have some credit remaining i can make international call and you can also add the credit uh, by going to the voice.google.com on the desktop if you don't have desktop don't worry about that you can just go to the mobile browser um, type in voice.google.com and uh, request desktop view voice.google.com and then you need to activate the um, desktop mode and sign in next next i have actually i change password so um that it asked me to say yes on the phone okay i am not going to uh, do that at this point uh, or let me do that uh, should get the number here Four three eight one one. Four three eight one one. So with, from there, I can actually setting again. This is a still mobile. Re request desktop site. 
now it's going to here here you go uh, from here uh, the setting are on the top bar uh, never mind and from there you can also add the credit at the end of the section uh, here add credit you can add it from the uh, mobile also just request for the desktop um, uh, browser so that's all and add credit and you can add uh, for all the international calls that's how you can uh, see or add the credit uh, let me go back to the um, google assistant app google home app and once you um, enable all everything here and uh, enable the speaker that you want to make a call you are all set let me show you demo and this is um, my assistant uh, or google home speaker uh, let me make a call hey google call my mom calling mom Call is being routed by Google. The cost of this call is 13 cents per minute. Uh, I, I cancel the call. I don't want to make the call right now, but why it's saying 13 cents per minute is it was international call. So it depends on the destination. Every country has different rates. So it depends on the rates of the country. And once you uh, have a number on your uh, contact list you can say with the name but if you don't have name on the contact list you can still uh, call with the number hey google call 571-318-3430 calling 571-318-3430 that was a random number that's why i cancelled it and i didn't want to make calls to random number and uh, it makes call with 10 digit numbers so uh, you can even make a call without contact list but it's better to have contact uh, list uploaded so that's all and that's my time today thank you for watching Thank you for watching my video please subscribe and share my channel and videos like my facebook page and don't forget to click on the bell icon next to subscribe button to get notified of my future videos if you haven't watched my previous videos go ahead and watch feel free to comment if you like to know something or have feedback for me until next video have a good time bye bye